Hi, my name is Ali Donesh, and tonight I will be presenting about the Akulian tool traditions used by our early ancestors. Previous Old One Tools Before the invention of the Akulian tool industry, there was another method of producing crude tools for the survival of the early humans. The Old One is the oldest known stone tool industry, named after the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. Dating to as far back as 2.5 million years ago, the Oldowan tools provide as the earliest evidence of cultural behavior within our ancestors. More specifically, an ancestor of the Homo sapiens, the Homo habilis species, were thought to have primarily produced Oldowan tools. Oldowan tools were classified as a kind of tool known as choppers. Choppers are simple stone cores with flakes removed from part of the surface which formed a basic and crude cutting edge. These choppers were used for cutting, chopping, and scraping for the meat of the carcasses. Further analysis has shown that these flakes were also used as tools for cutting plants and butchering as well. Aculean tool history. The Aculean tradition is considered a significant revolution in the Stone Age production and industry. Named after the site of St. Acul, where the first discoveries were made, Aculean tools have been found in a massive area of the old world. The Aculean tool industry is known to be the oldest and longest running industry in human history, running over a span of 1 million years the oldest artifacts found being 1.6 million years ago during the Lower Paleolithic. The Aculean stone tools are known to be a product of early Homo erectus, but are also associated with the Homo ergaster. Best characterized by the distinctive stone hand axes, there is a considerable variation in the size and quality of worksmanship between each tool. These tools were commonly made from quartzite, glassy lava, chert, and flint. Aculean Toolkit The Aculean Toolkit consisted of different tools, each with a seemingly different method of construction. The distinctive stone hand axes were primarily teardrop shaped and bifacially worked, which means they have been worked on both sides. Great skill and strength was required as large shards were first struck from big rocks and once shaped into bifaces, sharpened and refined at the edges to form each distinctive shape. Lanceolate or long and thin shapes were theoretically used as hand axes and picks, while bigger, flatter and sharp designs were theoretically used as cleavers. The Aculean differed from the previous Old One tools, as these tools had almost a blueprint to them. Not just any rock with the basic refined edge, rather sharp and designed tools that each seemed to have its very own purpose. The use of an anvil stone may have also helped further refine and design the desired tools. Furthermore, Later, Aculean industry employed the Levalloy technique, yielding flakes of a pre-planned shape and size and greatly improving the efficiency and utility of flakes as tools. What were the uses? The uses of the Aculean toolkits varied and were in fact very versatile. Studies of surface wear patterns reveals the uses of the hand axe include skinning of game animals, digging into the soil, and even harvesting wood and other plant materials. Aculean tools are sometimes even found with animal bones that show signs of having been butchered by those very same tools. Some of the hand axes are extremely large and may have been used as a ceremonial or even monetary function or they could have been used to butcher very large animals or mill branches or cut down trees in order to provide for fire fuel. 
what we can learn. The Acuian toolkits seem to simply be simple stones and tools left behind by our ancient ancestors. However, they reveal and can uncover and teach us a lot more about our human history than what simply can be seen at a first glance. The size of some of the Acuian tools clearly indicates a more complex technology advancement, with more and more improvements being made upon the tools over the million year time span that they were in use. Furthermore, the size of such tools indicates that it could not have been a solitary or single individual who was making these kinds of tools, rather a more interdependent group structure where we see multiple individuals and presumably extended families coming together and working together to achieve similar goals. Also, Aculean tools prove to us a design and methods of manufacture that was maintained for over a million years, with only improvements being made to the development and production in the later generations, providing clear evidence for specialized skills and a design criteria that was handed down or taught by a form of so socialization within a human culture. By 500,000 years ago, the Aculean methods had been brought all the way into Europe as associated with H. Heidelbergensis up until 200,000 years ago. The industry spread as far as the Near East and India. However, it never reached China where Homo erectus used old wand tools until their species extinction. Truly, this was a revolutionary and game-changing method that led to the creativity we see performed by humans today.